I know a fair amount of conservative women. I have never in my life gotten this collection of conservative women who are like, I really like dating red pill guys. Like they really have it figured mm-hmm. out. I love their approach to relationships. I like the way I get treated. I have never heard them out. Yes. They don't like the label red pill guys, but they like the characteristics that come with red pill guys, the characteristics and the traits that are being promoted by the red pill culture. Because if you look at the kind of men they describe as the guys they want, those guys exhibit the traits that are promoted by red pill culture. And so, yes, they might claim they don't like red pill guys, but then if you dig deeper into it, those are the guys they actually want, and those are the guys they define as wanting. Another thing you have to understand is modern women are rather selfish. And one of the things red pill culture is promoting is for men to be confident in themselves and to build themselves up to such a level where they don't tolerate a whole bunch of the rubbish that's going on in the dating marketplace. And if you're selfish, you're definitely not going to like that because it takes away the advantages you are gaining from simps, especially. And Red Pill is saying, don't be a simp. I have gotten a lot of emails from women that are like, oh my God, I'm worried this guy said something in a date and I think he listens to Andrew Tate. And if you were to give us a list of say five of those women and we were to ask them about what they've watched from Andrew Tate, all they probably know is what you've said. And have completely judged him and concluded that he's a bad guy simply based on what you're saying, which is the case for a lot of women. They're not actually watching him. They're just watching shorts and people's interpretations of who he is without digging into it deeper by themselves. You'll never hear it in any of these conservative women communities. I don't know if you're in it. I don't believe you heard it. Even if you tell me you have, where these women are like, oh yeah, these red pill guys, like they're so good to date. I love dating them so much. Mm. All of them seem like men that are who hurt you types. All of them seem like they're carrying baggage. A lot of them seem like they have issues because of the communities that they come from. And then when you listen to them talk about women, it feels like it's so much contempt. There is no denying that there are those who are on the extremes and those who take advantage of the red pill space to spew their hate towards women. But generally speaking, if you look at, for example, the Andrew Tates, as you mentioned, they encourage men to protect, to support, to provide for women, to care for women. So if you go and you pick out that little minority that hates women, or that has a grudge of some sort of resentment, whatever, towards women, and then use that as a defining factor for red pill space. These single moms, these sluts and only fans girls taking advantage of everyone. I don't see like these respectful communities of men who are like, yeah, like I'm a guy, I work really hard, take care of my body, I take care of my stuff, and you know, I'm trying to get in a relationship. It, it's always so much more contemptuous than that. Maybe I'm wrong. And if you disagree, let me know in the comments down below. But I've always seen the approach to the red pill community being one in response to how women have viewed and have used men. So yes, it does get verbally explosive, let's say, but ultimately, the messaging is good. And to be honest, I haven't seen the red pill space having no respect for self-respecting women. Yes, when it comes to single mothers and when it comes to OnlyFans chicks, it's a different story because it is a fact that with single mothers, a guy is losing out. It is a disadvantage to a guy. And with OnlyFans chicks, there are a whole bunch of factors that have been mentioned worldwide as to why that is a big disadvantage for men. And telling men to want something better for themselves is not a crime. And of course, women who are doing OnlyFans and who are single mothers are going to complain because you're taking away the advantage and the opportunities they had to make use of another man who is unaware.